Despite the importance of controller medication and asthma management, many patients are non-adherent. Dr. Leslie Hinyard and her associates took a closer look at this phenomenon and found some surprises. So we did a retrospective cohort study uh, using uh, medical, medical claims data from an insurance database of commercially insured population and we ended up with 145,000, a little bit more than that, uh, people in our sample and we ended up looking at the adherence to asthma controller medications between and comparing the differences between adherence within, with men and women and then also among younger adults, middle adults and then older adults. So um, overall adherence was low across all drug groups that we looked at. Um, it ranged from about I think 22 percent to 59 percent average uh, adherence scores and we were kind of surprised when we started looking at the gender differences that we found that men typically had higher adherence to almost all asthma controller medications compared to women except for leukotriene modifiers in which case women were actually had higher adherence to those than men. Um, across the board, across all the drug groups that we looked at, older adults ages 50 to 65 had much better adherence than um, the younger adults ages 18 to 24. In general, we need to be really careful about talking to all of our patients about uh, adhering to their medications, the importance of uh, controlling medications and controlling your asthma exacerbations and symptoms. But really we need to start looking at what are the reasons that women might be less adherent than men and see if we can pinpoint that and identify a point of impact where we can really start influencing women to take their medications at a um, higher rate.